Hey guys, this is the YouTube tag. I was tagged by Amy, DreamFlight6000. And I've got just a few minutes while Alice is asleep for her short morning nap, so I'm going to try to make it quick. First question is, what do you like most about YouTube? Definitely the connections I've made with people, um, either if we have the same type of experiences or not. You know, I learn a lot from people who live in different parts of the world and who have made different, you know, choices in life and have different lifestyles and families and that kind of stuff. I also just like learning about pretty much anything, but um, you know, I like the new ideas I get for um, activities to do with Alice and craft ideas and food ideas. It's just um, like Pinterest, I get a lot of inspiration from YouTube. Number two, what do you dislike most about YouTube? Um, definitely um, the negativity that comes out sometimes. You know, sometimes I get nasty comments, like I'm sure we all do. I also really don't like the fact that I think I feel like there are certain topics that I don't even want to um, touch. Like I'm not even going to discuss them because the conversation just gets too nasty, um, and people troll YouTube um, just looking for certain topics so that they can make like really hateful comments. And I'm just I don't want to bring that into my life. So it's kind of unfortunate because I think that there are constructive, you know, discussions to be had, and um, I like sharing the experiences that I've had and you know, the decisions we've made and that kind of stuff. But like I said, there are certain things I just, I'm not going to go there because it's just going to make me unhappy. Um, number three, who on YouTube inspired you to make videos? I can't think of any one particular person. Hmm. I had my um, YouTube anniversary, my YouTube anniversary yesterday, actually. I started making videos two years ago yesterday. Um, but I watched videos for an entire year before I started, you know, before I tried th the first vlog. I think everybody I watched that first year were all trying to conceive. Um, I watched Amy Turtle Ames. I watched Susie, Susie Q, some numbers. I watched Tasha, whose channel is now called Tugs at Your Heart. I watched Meg, who used to be Betty Lorraine, but now she's Dearest Meg. I think those are the, the people I started watching that still make videos. Um, and then after watching TTC videos for a while, I started, you know, getting to know more people. And um, the the people I've followed from early on are Amy, um, DreamFlight6000. Um, I also have been watching Naturally Thrifty Mom from the very beginning when her channel was Brittany K something or other. Um, yeah, I think we started just about the same time, so she and I have had, like, parallel um, journeys on here. So I don't know, all of them, Every all, you all were my inspiration. Number four, what did you want to achieve on YouTube and have you achieved it yet? All I wanted was to connect with people and learn and I've definitely done both of those things. Number five, if you could change one thing about your YouTube, what would it be? Um, well, there's two things I wanna change. First of all, I really want a banner for my page. They're not banners per se anymore. They're like background images that you can have some text at the top, um, but I really, I, I've been wanting one for a long time, I just never find the time to make one. Somebody out there is like a really great graphic artist and, um, I don't know, wants to give me a birthday present. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Number six, what kind of videos do you do? So I did trying to conceive vlogs, pregnancy vlogs, every week during my pregnancy with Alice. I have done um, postpartum and baby sort of updates every month since she was born got a few cloth diaper videos, I've got some meal videos, um, I've been doing the what's for dinners every month this year, and I'm starting to get into more like craft tutorials, um, goals videos, and just more like family stuff, bringing Mike in a little bit more. Oh, and also like saving money, tips, budgeting stuff. Um, number seven, do you wish you had more subscribers? No, I love the subscribers I have. Um, <laughs> I'm not like actively trying to, you know, drive my subscriptions or anything. Um, that's not what it's about for me. But that said, if there are people out there who would learn something from my videos or, you know, um, know that they're not alone in thinking or feeling some of the things that they, um, you know, do, I hope they find my video. So how many people are you sub to? I should have looked, but it's over 200. It's too many. I actually have a really hard time um, watching all the videos that I want to because I really do care about a lot of people out there. But, you know, sometimes it's, it's just hard to keep up. I think it's like 236 or something. Number nine, if you didn't have YouTube, what would you do? I think I'm going to take this as like, this because this is my hobby. If I didn't, you know, have this as a hobby, what else would I do? I guess I would just do 
I don't know, more craft stuff and probably read more. Um, in terms of like finding the support and the stuff that I learned from YouTube, I would probably find it somewhere else on the internet, some other sort of online like, you know, message boards or something like that. Number 10, if you get hate, what do you do? Yeah, I get a, a bit of hate, a bit of negativity. I think we all do. If it is something, somebody's making like a negative comment, but it's constructive in some way, or like I feel like they have a valid point. They're really talking about, um, you know, how something I said made them feel. Um, I do try to address that and explain myself better or just let them know that, you know, I understand you have a difference of opinion or something. I just try to be respectful. If it's like something where totally out of context, it's just somebody wanting to be mean and like use bad words and that kind of stuff. Um, and that's what they do for fun. I just block them and ignore it. Number 11, do you have a lot of friends here on YouTube? I definitely do. I have dozens of friends that I really, really like. Number 12, what is a piece of advice you would give to a beginner YouTuber? I would say before you start out, set like boundaries for yourself, um, you know, whatever, what, what you feel comfortable with, but think about it ahead of time, what kind of information you're going to share online, um, how involved different family members are going to be, um, what information you want to share in case, you know, people that are closer to you in your personal life find your videos. Just consider those kind of things ahead of time so you don't have any regrets. Number 13, are you a partner? Yes. Number 14, what are your favorite types of videos? Now I really like watching moms who have kids around the same age as Alice so I can see you know, what they're into and just get new ideas and um, just you know, follow along over time. Um, it's just see the changes in their kids and, and the changes in Alice and it's cool. I think more than anything I watch people, so not necessarily types of videos, but people. People that I like and that I feel connections to, I will watch just about anything they put up. The exceptions would be the few videos that I don't really like. I don't watch haul videos. Um, I don't usually watch favorites videos. All right, number 15, tag someone pretty please. I know this tag has been going around for a while, so um, I think a lot of people that I would tag have probably done it. I'm gonna do some searching around, and just like Amy did, I'm just gonna um, tag some people in the, in the description box, so look for your name below. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video and for watching all of them and for making my experience what it has been on YouTube so far. Have a good day, guys.